<laughs> Greetings, cyber dogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rendog coming at you from just outside the Griswold family apartments in this Let's Play Minecraft survival series. In the previous episode, we started construction of the Villa Guardhouse. And in this episode, my friends, we are going to be assigning one of these Griswold family members to be the guard of the Lakeside Villa. And then if we still have time, we are going to start working on improving the inside of the Lakeside Villa, starting with the bottom story. So sit back and relax, my cyber diggity dogs. Let's play some Minecraft survival. Oh man, guys, I am so pumped for today's episode because one of you guys left me such an awesome suggestion in the comment section of the previous video. One of you guys said, why not get one of the Griswold family crew to be the guard of the Lakeside Villa? And I think that is an absolute genius idea. You know, this Griswold family right now is living on freaking benefits, man. The Molehole Council is paying for this gigantic family to live for free in these amazing apartments. The only people that are working are Griswold the freaking blacksmith and his, his wife Hippolyta who isn't really working, she's just a housewife really. And, uh, and of course, uh, old Beatrice as the butler is the only other villager who's actually working. The rest of these freaking buttholes are living for free off state benefits and I'm tired of this man. I, I'm a, there's going to be a revolt in Mole City unless something gets done about this. So uh, what I thought we would do, guys, is get one of these Griswold family members to be the guard of the Lakeside Villa. And I think that it should be uh, old, old Fresh Prince over here, man. The Fresh Prince of Mole City, he should be the guard. As the only ma other male in the Griswold family group, I think that he should take up the mantle as guard of the Lakeside Villa. To, to set an example to his sisters that you gotta earn your freaking gold nuggets in the freaking mole hole community, man. You know what I'm saying? Fresh Prince, are you with me, bro? Are you with me? Um, doesn't look like he's with me, but he doesn't have a choice in the matter. It's gonna happen. <laughs> now, uh, I don't exactly know how we're gonna get him into that guardhouse. What I thought we, we should do is just use some rails and a, and a minecart to transport him all the way there. But I do want to try out this lead to see if this will actually work. I don't think leads work on villagers though. Let's, let's check it out. Oh, no. no, a right click with a lead is just going to make the villager trade with you. I'm going to hold down shift. No, that doesn't do anything. So yeah, we're going to have to do this the old fashioned way, man. We're going to have to stick his butthole into a minecart and push him all the way there. So I think what we probably need to do is isolate his ass. Man, Hippolyta's here. She's like, don't you take my son away from me. He's my only boy. He's my only son. Well, Hippolyta, he needs to freaking earn his, his living here, man. He's been getting gold nuggets for free every month and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it, man. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of all of you living on benefits, actually. You all need freaking jobs, man. As soon as I build a church and a bank and a freaking tavern, all of these villages are gonna, are gonna be assigned new jobs in Mole City. No more free loading around here, man. <laughs> okay, anyway, guys, let's try and get this fresh prince over to that guardhouse. I've isolated him in here. It's only temporary, bro. Don't worry, man. I'm gonna get you out of there soon. And what we need to do, I think, is run a, a rail line all the way to the guardhouse. So, hmm, how are we gonna do this? Well, I think we probably need to run a line yeah, okay, here we go. So let's run a line like down here, like this. And then I think what we should probably do, yeah, we can use some of the sand that I was gonna use to uh, to build the Lakeside Villa. And we'll just make like a, I don't know, let's make like a passageway because we can't build rails on top of, of the slabbage and these stairs and stuff over here, right? Okay, so the rail can go down here. Let's see if we can go over the slabbage. Yep, we can go over this slabbage like this. And then we can build another little sand bridge. All right, here we go. Oh man, like this is such a sweet suggestion. Th this is why, oh man, I just love playing Minecraft with you guys so much. You guys have like the most awesome ideas ever. Like um, you know, a, lo a lot of the d ideas in the series come from me, but like a ton of the ideas that I do in the series come from you guys. And uh, it's just so cool. It's, it's just like having thousands and thousands of brains working together uh, to like achieve a goal and to make like really sweet things in, in, in this Minecraft world. It's awesome, man. Love you guys. <laughs> anyway, let's run this line over like this. And then, I, yeah, we're going to have to hop over this little, like this passageway over here of slabbage. Man, Mojang really needs to implement some sort of way to, to move villagers in this game. 
I guess you probably need like a like a lead type item to move a villager. I mean, I can understand why they didn't use the lead uh, for villagers. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of insulting, right? Like you're literally tying a string around a human and dragging them to where you want. Like, I don't know, man. It's kind of inhumane. But um, I don't know, like, I, I, I guess it's a kind of difficult thing to do. How do you actually move villages in Minecraft? Like, the only thing that I can think of is using emeralds. So you know like how wheat makes animals follow you? So I thought that you could use emeralds to make villagers follow you. But then what would happen is you just, you would have like tons of villagers following you everywhere, right? So if we were to use this emerald strategy in this position over here, like all of the Griswold family would follow us to this location. So that, that wouldn't really work uh, that well. So yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, this seems like a really inefficient way to, to move villagers, to be honest with you. Maybe if you, oh, I've got an idea, if you have an emerald in your hand, right, and you right click on a villager, that villager follows you for a certain amount of time, something like that. Yeah, that, that could work quite nicely, I think. Right, anyway, um, just brainstorming some ideas for Mojang. <laughs> um, what I want to do is just like make sure that, um, th that, that the Fresh Prince assigns the guardhouse as his new home, so I don't want him running away, right? So I think what we'll do is we'll transport him to this position over here and then we can break this block of sand underneath the rail and that'll drop him down and then hopefully he'll run into into the house. Well, that's the plan anyway. Maybe what we should do is like, I don't know, maybe make it easier for him to get in here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I think this will work, right? So we'll get him to this position over here and then we'll break this sand over here which will drop him down and then hopefully he will take the house as his new house it's just like block off everything over here we don't want him like running back to his mama you know what i'm saying carl dude we dude you're gonna you are gonna get in the way in this episode i can already tell that you're gonna get in the way so you know what stakeification man <laughs> that's what you get haven't you watched episode one of the series carl's get murderized Anyway, <laughs> let's get some powered rails up in here too, guys, so that um, it'll be easier to actually get the Fresh Prince all the way into his new guardhouse. Man, I hope this works. All right, let's get... Um, yeah, can we put a redstone torch on the slab? It's, yeah, sweet. Put a powered rail just outside of Mama Dog's greenhouse over here. Uh, we still have a bit of railage to, to connect over here. And this is just this is the glitch that we have um, on the railway line to uh, Silkworm Gang Island. Really annoying. Mojang, if you're watching this, please fix. Thanks. <laughs> can, like, can you actually imagine Mojang watching this series? Man, that would be awesome. It would actually make me the happiest person on earth. Seriously, I, I would be so stoked. Like, I wonder if Mojang even watch, I don't know, like the, like the biggest Minecrafters on YouTube. Do you think Mojang watches like Etho? They must do, right? They have to, man. I'd be very disappointed if they didn't. That's for sure. Alright, there we go, man. We've got some powered rails going. And we should be able to get this Fresh Prince all the way to his new gerb. Fresh Prince, this is your last chance to say goodbye to your mama. And to your dad. And to all of your sisters. Griswold. Gotta tell you something, bro. Your son is about to be a god. That means his life expectancy isn't very long. Minions and gods? Yeah, they often get owned. They often die. So, you know... You might want to go and I don't know, give him a, give him your pocket watch or something, because he, he he's uh, he's leaving he's leaving the nest. <laughs> anyway, let's get a, let's get a minecart in place for the fresh prince over here. Let's get rid of that torch. Stick a minecart in here. All right, let's try and get his butthole into this minecart. I think if we get rid of this block over here, he's going to try and run a, back to his home, and then he'll get into the minecart. Come on, fresh prince. Come on, bro. Into the minecart, buddy. Get into the freaking minecart. Get get in the minecart. Dude. Go. Oh, there we go. Okay, so sweet. Check it him go, man. <laughs> oh, man. This is awesome. Like, this is like traveling for him, man. I doubt he's ever come this far in Mole City. I don't think he's, pro he's probably never left his home. Oh, did I just derp? Yeah, I just derped. I just derped seriously hard. And I just heard at least 4,000 face palms going simultaneously around the world. My bad, guys. My bad. 
Um, yeah, I, I done, I done dirt really hard here. Like, look, look at this. He's completely glitched out over here, man. All right, there we go. <laughs> oh man, that was so stupid. All right, there we go. Check it out, go. He, he looks like he's quite keen and quite eager to get to work. Good man. All right, sweet. We've arrived at our destination. Now, Fresh Prince, dude, we got a chat, bro. You see this villa over here? There is some expensive ass jazz up in here, man. Well, not yet, but there's going to be some rare paintings, some diamonds, some gold. And it is your boss's home away from home. It is his pride and joy. So you better look after this freaking thing, man. Like, in the previous episode, dude, there was a creeper, like, right over there. So, you know, you got your work cut out for you, bro. Um, I'm gonna go have a sleep and, and let you sit there and think about it. Think about your responsibilities. You're a man now, dude. You are no longer a teenager. <laughs> oh, man, this is so awesome. Uh, episodes like this make me lol. Completely pointless, yet I love them. They're so much fun. Anyway, <laughs> let's get this done, man. All right. All right, Fresh Prince, bro. This is it, bro. This is it. Okay, I'm going to break this bit of sand underneath him. All right, so he's fallen down. So let's let's get rid of his mine cart. Okay, there we go. He's definitely looking in that direction longingly at his old home, isn't he? He isn't really taking to this new place very well. And uh, yes, there isn't a bed in here, dude. You're going to be working 24 hours a day. Seven days a week. Well, it looks like he's trapped. So, let's try to give him some space. Dude, get in there. Get, get in the... Oh, oh God. Oh God. That, th that does not bode well. That does not... <laughs> this, this does not bode well. The Fresh Prince is, is glitching out like nobody's business, man. Up, up. Okay, there we go. There we go. And up into your new house. Get in there. Close the doors. Did that actually work? Has he accepted this as his new house? Let's just, let's just uh, clean up around here. Well, he's jumping up and down. He seems really happy. Let's open this up and see if he runs back to his house or if he stays here. Well, it looks like he's staying, but he is hanging out on the railway line. Dude, health and safety fail. Well, he hasn't, he hasn't actually been on a health and safety course yet, so, you know, can't blame the guy. But seriously, bro, you can't hang out on the freaking railway lines because when I'm traveling over here, I'm going to bump into you and you're going to stop me traveling. And then I'm going to be angry. And you might be the first villager in Mall City to be executed. Oh no, oh no, where's he going? Oh no, he's hanging around. Okay, sweet. I think this actually worked. Awesome. Well, I guess we'll just like leave him for a while. See what happens. Oh, you, like we'll wait for the sun to go down, right? And he, if he runs into this building, then he's accepted it as his house. He's jumping up and down like a, like a crazy person. So he seems quite happy. All right, anyway, guys, let's get to work on the Lakeside Villa, on the inside of it anyway. And uh, we'll see what he does. I'm really curious, actually. Oh, he's gone inside his house. Sweet. He keeps getting trapped in here, though. So that's not good. Um, I don't know. You know what we might need to do? We not, might need to make like a trap. <laughs> like, this is what I'm thinking, right? Dude, get your butthole out of there. Get out. Get out. Like, the railway lines are making him glitch out seriously badly, right? So what we might need to do is make like a... Make another trapdoor apparatus. Hang on. Let's make some smooth stone. So like this, right? And then this block will move this way. And the block that would sit over here uh -huh. where the Fresh Prince is chilling would move that way. Uh -huh. Yeah, we might need to do that because it looks like he's going he's gonna to get stuck in here. He can't actually get out. Uh -huh. 
Well, he can, but it's like a mission for him. We have to give him some space. Let's get rid of this jazz. Get out of there, dude! Like, that, that is like the most dangerous place to stand. When this trap door opens and closes, that's just gonna crush you, bro. Man. My, the, the health and safety part of my brain is just going absolutely mad right now. Freaking fresh prince. Anyway, guys, welcome to the Lakeside Villa. For those of you guys who have never been here, this is a build that I started in Season 1. It was basically my holiday home away from the Molehole Castle, and it is a very, very sweet place because um, it's kind of weird. The Lakeside Villa sits on basically... Uh, the intersection between multiple biomes, right? It kind of sits in between this ice biome over here. So sometimes you get snow and it's, and then it's uh, half of it is in this jungle biome over here uh, where you get rain and, and sunshine and stuff. Sometimes when you are up here on the roof of the Lakeside Villa, it can be snowing and raining at the same time. And sometimes it can be raining with sun or snowing and sun at the same time as you move through uh, the into the different chunks. It's like, it's really, it's kind of cool. Um, hasn't happened in a while though. And I think like they changed snow or something. I don't know, someone was telling me that it doesn't snow anymore around here, but I don't know, I could be wrong. But anyway, uh, the Lakeside Villa, as you can see, has like a miniature life tree in the middle of it, emulating, of course, the giant ass life tree in the Molehole Castle. And it has one bedroom in it, just got one bedroom, my bedroom of course, which has this epic view of the, the Cyberdog Monuments. Every time I wake up, I'm like, oh, Cyberdog Monuments, so awesome. Um, we've got some library books up in here and it's a pretty big bedroom, which is awesome. I like this bedroom, but most importantly, it has also a kitchen area over here, which overlooks the lake, which gave this place its name, the Lakeside Villa. Uh, and we have a, a lot of work to do because this part of the Lakeside Villa is supposed to be like the entertainment area, right? It's supposed to be like a bar kind of thing with tables and, and like a jukebox and stuff like that and, and, um, and chairs and, and, and couches and stuff like that. So I kind of want to start working on this area over here. I do, however, feel that we, I don't know if we need another bedroom. Like now that I think back on it, why do we only have one bedroom? I mean, this, it's, this giant ass house is literally just built for me. Like, what happens if I want to have friends over or something? Yeah. <laughs> but I think we definitely need to improve the kitchen area over here. I think my bedroom is okay. I don't think we need to do much work on my bedroom. Um, but what I do want to do first, and it has just been the biggest amount of OCD ever, is fix up this area over here. And man, it looks like, it looks like I never finished off this lining of, um, what is that? That looks like jungle wood plankage, right? I never finished that off and I never finished off these glass panes either so that's kind of annoying uh, is this jungle wood it looks like jungle wood oh god there's there's different woods in here man do you guys see this this is jungle wood and then this wood is spruce wood oh man Th like this is back in the day guys I made this thing back when I was a, a serious noob I mean I'm still a noob now but when I made this villa man I was like mega noob mega noob styles um, what is this dude up to, man? <laughs> he's, he's looking longingly in the direction of his family. <laughs> man, I, I feel kind of bad now. Maybe we should bring him a wife. Although they don't have a bed in there, so... They can't, you know, they can't really get busy getting busy. You know what I'm saying. Um, so I think what we should probably do first, though, because it is literally the thing that's been driving me cray-cray the most. And that is actually just finish off the, the window over here. Like, this has been an unfinished window for two seasons and, like, 85 episodes. The draft in the Lakeside Villa is something crazy, man. It is so cold up in here. And you know how much electricity I've wasted on heating? How much redstone, should I say? How much redstone power? <laughs> so let's, let's once and for all uh, make this Lakeside Villa airtight, finally. Jeez, man. It's, it's only taken, like, 600 hours of Minecraft to do this. All right, let's finish off this window. There we go. Um, I do want to finish this lining off also, but I don't have any um, any jungle wood plankage with me at the moment. And I'm trying to remember like what the idea was around here. I know that I wanted to have like a bar over here. And I kind of want like a painting up here too. And I wanted like a... Yeah, I did, I did want a little bar over here. Like, I don't know how we can do this though. Maybe we can... Hmm. 
Maybe we can make like a... Now you see, it's, it's too high, man, because of the slabbage. Like, even if we stuck some pressure plates up here to make like a... like a table. Like, that's, that's a pretty sweet bar, actually. But it's too high off the ground, right? Alright, tell you what, let's try like lower this down. Like, if we lower the, the fencage down into this area like this, what does that look like? And we'll finish off the bar like this, right? Now it's too low. Oh man, just can't freaking win, can you? No, that like, that's way too low now, right? Yeah, it's too low, man. It's too freaking low. What happens if we, like, put slabbage on top of this? Okay, that's kind of working for me. That's kind of working for me. Although, maybe, like, we shouldn't use this slabbage. Maybe we should use, like, some sort of wooden slabbage. There we go. That's a nice little bar. Yeah, that, that works really nicely, in fact. I'm digging that. And I like, I like how this sort of fencage design breaks up the floor a bit. I think that's pretty cool. What, what will it be, sir? Scotch on the rocks? How about some zombie brain juice and cranberry? It's very strong. Highly recommended. <laughs> anyway, sun is going down, guys. Let's have a look if uh, that butthole has stayed in his guardhouse. Dude, the sun is going down. Okay, he's run inside. He hasn't closed the doors, though. Close the doors, bonghole. Check at him, he's looking at the sunset. Dude, it's beautiful, man. You have a beautiful view from here. Check at that. That's epic. And now he's just staring over the ocean. Dude, I think you've got a sweet ass pad here, man. Seriously. I don't think you should complain. Alright, well it looks like the Fresh Prince has accepted his new gerb as the guard of the Lakeside Villa. So I'm I'm super stoked about that, man. That, that that's awesome, man. He'll get like a VIP invite to our first Lakeside Villa party. Alright, this bar is looking kind of cool. I don't think we're going to have enough space for, for bar stools though. So I think what we like, I think what we need is some sort of like a lounge area over here. I don't know, like a couch or something. Hmm. Hmm. Or maybe we just need like little, oh I've got an idea. Maybe we just need like little, um, little tables, right? Check it out. Like, maybe we just need... Like a little bar table over here, right? Looks like we, this is where you put your drinks. And if we use a pressure plate in this position over here? Eh, I don't know, man. It feels like we, we need to change the floor of the Lakeside Villa. I don't know if the slabbage is working. Ah. Hey, bro. Just checking on you. Just, check, just making sure you're okay. Okay, awesome. It looks like he has accepted the guardhouse, guys. So that is awesome. But, um, I don't know, guys. I think that we might need to change the floor over here. I think that because it's slabbage, it's messing with the, the height of the stools and of, the, of, like, the bar itself. I think we're going to actually need to raise the, the floor of this um, area over here by, by half a slab. So that, it's, uh, so that it's level like this. I think that's fine. It doesn't really matter. It's just, it's just, this is just awkward going on over here, man. Like, this is just, I don't know, I'm just not feeling it. I'm not, I'm not feeling it right now, man. Alright, I tell you what, guys. We're not going to have enough time in this episode to do this. But I'm going to experiment a little bit around this part of the Lakeside Villa. Uh, I'm going to raise the floor by, by half a slab over here and experiment with the bar and see what we can do. Hopefully in the next episode, uh, I will be able to finish it off with you guys. And then we can move on to finishing the upstairs of the Lakeside Villa. Guys, I've had a ton of fun uh, playing around with the Fresh Prince, getting him into his guardhouse. I hope you guys have enjoyed it too. I'm going to go and clear up all the railway lines in, in Mall City and get everything looking like it, uh, like it was before before this episode but thank you so much for watching guys if you enjoyed it you know what to do you hit that freaking like button if you haven't subscribed yet you hit that freaking subscribe button and if for any other reason just hit the like button for the fresh prince he is a working man now man he is earning his gold nuggets up in the mole hole 
community. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. It's been Ren Diggity Dog playing Minecraft Survival, and we will see you in the next episode. Goodbye, my friends!